Hi drummers, hope you're well. Right, a little student request for you here. This is how to play the opening drum beat from Sunday, Sunday, Bloody Sunday by U2. Goes like this. So really cool and really distinct, distinctive beat. It's also simpler than uh, some people think at first. With the kick drum or the bass drum, you're just playing four on the floor. So one, two, three, four. Quarter notes or crotchets all the way. That lands in sync with your sticks, which are essentially based on the hi-hat, playing a single stroke roll as 16th notes. So if you're right-handed, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. If you're left-handed, obviously start with your left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. The really important thing here is you never break the flow of right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. So uh, the basic coordination, if you stayed on the hi-hat, is this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Then it is just simply a case of moving your sticks across to the snare at the right time. All the time, remember, you never play a double. You always just play right, left, right, left bringing your sticks to the snare at the right time to produce uh, the right, the, to play the groove, man. It starts on the and of beat four. That's one to watch out for. One and two and three and four and one and two. So the first four notes, ba, 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 they're and a one E. So it goes one and two and three and four and a. That's, I would call that the pickup or the lead in to beat one, which is then one E. So one and two and three and four and the one is the beginning. Uh, when you then hit the first bar proper, you've got those two snares I just talked about on one E. You've got another snare on two and then another two snares on ander, the ander of beat four right at the end. Remember, it's a single stroke roll all the way through and you never break that flow, right? I'm going to play for you now the little pick up two notes and the first bar. I'll do it a few times. One and two and three and four. Again, first bar, one, two, and three, and four. I'll do that one last time. One, and two, and three, and four. Okay, let's have a look at the second bar now. Exactly the same format. The kick plays one, two, three, four. The hi-hat plays 16th single stroke roll. This time you just move your right and left stick for a right-hander across to the snare on the ander, the last two sixteenths of beat two and beat four. This is the second bar. One and two and three and four and. Okay, I'll do that again, just a second bar. Two, three, four. Okay, I'm now gonna play the pick up to the first two bars. So I'm gonna play the little ba ba and then the first two bars proper. Here we go, one, two, three, four. I'll do that again, first two bars. Two, three, four. Okay, the third bar. Same format, four on the floor kick, 16th notes, right, left, right, left for right-handers on the hi-hat. This has snare drum hits on the one E, uh, and then on beat two, and then on the ander of beat four. So really similar to the first bar. This is the third bar on its own. One, two, three, four. And I'm now gonna play the first three bars, including the pickup at the start. Here we go. Two, three, four. Okay, I'll do that one time again. First three bars. Two, three, four. Okay, fourth bar. Almost there now. Same format. Kick drum plays four on the floor. Sixteenth notes, right, left, right, left on the hi-hat. You simply bring your right stick across for the ander of beat two. And then on the end of the fourth bar, you just play the beat the and of beat four with your right stick on the snare. So this, like bars three and four, if you like, are almost a carbon copy of one and two, except 
At the end of bar two, you go for the last two notes. At the end of bar four, you go. They're the only differences. Bar four, here it comes on its own. Again, bar four. Okay, I'm now gonna play the whole first four bars and I'll do it like slow speed and then a slightly faster speed and then something uh, a bit like full speed. Here we go, slow speed. One, two, and three, and four. Okay, again at a slowish speed. First four bars. Three and four. Okay, first four bars a bit faster. Two and three and four. And then something about uh, around full speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One time again. Two, three, four. Okay, absolute classic groove, I think. That's the first four bars, and it obviously continues in that vein as well. Absolutely iconic. I think that has that thing, which is the ultimate sort of test of whether something's a classic, which is honestly by, I was going to say in the first bar, but if I halfway through the first bar, by the time you've gone, but, 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 you know it's Sunday, bloody Sunday, right? There's no, like, mistaking it for anything else. And I think that's so cool. In a world like the drum world we live in, where the same beats get used over and over and over again, how cool to create something that just is instantly recognizable as that. I think, always think that's a great mark of a great musician, of a great part, and certainly of a great like drum part. is like that instantly recognizable thing. Obviously, this draws on like military marching band kind of feel. Uh, but in terms of like rock and pop music, it's so cool to have that kind of... Um, yeah, unique sound, I would say. Very, very cool. So I hope that's cool. A great suggestion. Thanks for watching, as always. Any questions about anything, give us a shout. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. If you do subscribe and you want to get a notification every time I upload a video, please uh, click the little bell icon. Um, at the minute, I'm uploading a video every day, or probably more than one a day, honestly, uh, like everyone else in the UK at the minute. With the corona thing, I'm uh, based at home. That's why I'm on this kit, as opposed to my regular studio kit. Uh, but I'm able to do some videos. So I'll be sticking up loads of videos, uh, one at least a day, probably two or or so uh, throughout this this little period of time and uh thanks for watching as always um oh thanks as well to all the lovely people who've supported this channel i can't stress how much how i how much i appreciate that in fact i'm going to give them a little shout out um this is people who've become either the monthly members of this channel which you can now do and you get uh, i'll record you some video responses if you have questions you get members only videos you get a shout out on this channel and you get all my playlists nicely arranged in one little list that you can click on and watch um the amazing uh, people who also supported this channel by just buying me a coffee as well, which is just a, a, a contribution to the channel, which I massively appreciate as well. In the last 24 hours or so, we've had Tony Lomas, uh, Miles, Ian Doherty, and Ruth. Massively appreciate your support, guys. You're superstars, and uh, th that massively helps this channel keep going. Uh, the more support this channel gets in those ways, particularly the monthly membership, but all support is obviously massively appreciated. The more support this channel gets in those ways, basically the more time I'm able to spend on doing it and putting videos up for you. So if you want to see more videos, that's the way to do it, man. Plus, I really think that monthly membership is, is, a, is a really cool thing, man. If you've got questions, I've already recorded a ton of these already. People who've got questions, I'll record you a video response and uh, it's an awesome way to work, man. I can also demo stuff for you. So one guy was doing the other day, he did his, um, this piece he's got to play and he, there's a bit he wanted demoing. I played it through for him, that kind of stuff. Uh, I'll do that and I'll be at your service and it's a really cool uh, little service, I think. So thanks for much, so much for watching as, as always. Please like, share, and subscribe. Like I said already, uh, please follow Mike Barnes Drums on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, and TikTok. And as well, thanks to all the lovely people who've checked in for online lessons. I'm now offering lessons via Zoom and also Skype and FaceTime um, from this setup here. It's been amazing, man. Uh, details of that below and how to book in. 
Uh, it's super cool. It's easier than you think in terms of setting up. You don't need a big uh, production number to set the lessons up. You just need to download Zoom basically. Um, and that's it. Like we can, get, I'm going to record a video about this in a minute actually, which I'll put up. But in terms of the technical stuff, often people ask me questions like, how do I get set up? Do I need an interface? All this kind of stuff. Basically, no, keep it super low tech. It can work really well we can have a really successful session just using the audio that you've got in your room so it's totally cool uh i'll as i say do a little video about that in a second stick that up um and in the meantime thanks for watching stay cool stay well it's a weird time that's for sure but um yeah man just use the time what else can you do use the time to work on your drumming and enjoy yourself i put as, put up as much content for you here as i can and uh, have fun with uh, you two sunday bloody sunday see you soon thanks a lot